Hello, everyone. My name is Hong Yin. Uh, I'm here to talk about uh, GSI, uh, the generic system images. GSI is, by definition, the purest form of Android framework that we can build from AOSP. By purest, we mean that uh, it doesn't contain any device maker or uh, carrier customization. Uh, you, you will want to ask, um, AOSP has been there for 10 years. Why does it become a thing right now? It is because GSI is the central piece in travel compliance. So remember the project travel? We took on the Android updatability problem with travel about two years ago in the Oreo timeframe. We re-architected Android to have a clear boundary between the Android framework and the hardware-related vendor implementation. With this boundary clearly defined, uh, we no longer need to update the vendor implementation with the Android framework. So this has greatly reduce the cost and time for device maker to update their Android framework. Now, to make sure that the boundary is not altered by device makers at will, we require every travel certified device to pass a set of CDS and VTS tests with their Android framework replaced by GSI. So with all these powerful tools in place about a year ago, we started to see the momentum of faster Android Pi adoption this year. So let's take a look at uh, the Android beta program at Google I.O. last year. Only Nexus and Pixel phones were available for, for you to try out Android Oreo. And fast forward, one year later, at Google I.O. this year, uh, it was the first time ever that we had non-Google phones to join uh, the beta lineup. And it's not one, it's not two, it's seven device makers joining us. So the progress was phenomenal. We know we are on the right track, and we will continue to push for it. Now, despite that the GSI is the central piece in travel uh, compliance, we feel that it has a lot more potential than that. Uh, so we set out a goal to make GSI uh, be more accessible and useful, not just for device makers, but also for the general public, including app developers like you and even consumers. An important first step toward that goal is to make GSI available in LSP. So for this, we have published PyGSI in LSP. So now you can download and build PyGSI today. Uh, we are also exploring ways to make future GSI available earlier than the release of next Android version. So you will be able to try out next Android version earlier over GSI. And at the same time, we can also get uh, early feedback from you. So the benefit is mutual. So please stay tuned for our further announcement on this. Finally, we understand that trying out GSI can be cumbersome sometimes. We are looking into different ways to improve the process. Right now, we have an idea of trying out GSI without actually flashing GSI onto the device. But I'm not going into detail here. We do have a working uh, early prototype at our demo booth. In addition to that, we also prepare a set of devices. Uh, they are all running on the same PyGSI. 
So please do check out uh, our demos at the Android Platform Sandbox.